Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create an API key for your developer or for yourself if you're your own developer. Before we get started, my name's Cal, I'm a developer and I'm a store owner just like you and I run an online community for store owners like us. I'll have a link at the end. Um, let me share my screen and let's get started. So there, there is a new feature here in BigCommerce which is that you can either create an API key for someone or you can give them the ability to create their own API key, which is awesome. It's an awesome development. Uh, I'm going to show you how to assign one to them or how to create one on their behalf and then I'll show you how to let them create one themselves. So if you're going to create one for them, what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings and you need to do this as, well I guess as the store owner unless you have special permissions that I'm going to show you in part two. Um, you go to settings and you scroll down here and you go to store level API counts. There's store level and there's account level. And what your developers are gonna need is the store level API accounts. So you click into that and it says, uh, at least here on my preview, that there are no keys, at, no accounts at the moment, no store level API accounts, it's really a, a key. So I'm gonna click create one, right? And it says token type, V2, V3, or stencil CLI. Now, if they're working on your front end, if they're developing your theme, this is probably the one that they need. And so you can say create a stencil CLI token. I'm gonna to give this to Cal. So <clears throat> I'm gonna name this something that reminds me of who I gave it to or what it was for, right? So this is for Cal from Epic Design Labs. If this was for an app or something, which an app wouldn't use the stencil CLI key, but um, no matter what, what I'm trying to say is you want to name it something where you remember what it is. Because what I see store owners do is they'll create 10, 12 API keys over time, and then they won't really remember what was what, and it's hard to get them cleaned up and uh, delete out keys that aren't needed anymore for safety. So the, the more clear you can be in your naming structure, the better. All right, so underneath that, it says local development only or published theme. So published theme gives them the ability to uh, do their work that they need and then push it through code into your store, which is really, really nice. If, uh, if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can give them local development only, but the difference is, is that while they'll be able to work on your theme locally, they'll have to save it as a zip file and then log into your store and then manually upload that. And it basically, you know, adds a couple minutes, you know, or more every time that they want to publish a change. So it does slow them down a little bit, but whichever one you want, that's the differences between the two. When you click save, what's going to happen is it's going to show you an access token and it's going to give you this terminal quick start. But if you noticed, there was a little thing up here saying that it saved a text file in my downloads folder. And what you can do is just send your developer that text file and it's got everything that they need. All right, so that is a stencil CLI key, right? So this only gives them permission to basically edit your theme and see the minimum stuff that they need to do development for your theme. Now, likewise, you may need to create a V2, V3 API token. Now, this is gonna be for um, the purposes of an app. So if they're building an app for you or if they're loading an app that requires them to put in a key, this is where this is the type of key that they're going to need for this. Again, you want to name it something where you can remember what it's for. Now here's the tricky thing with V2, V3 APIs, you got to know what permissions that app needs and give them the right permissions. Now if they're developing you know, a prototype software, it might be that they just need all the permissions so that they can figure out what they need later you know, but you'll have to go through here and select the permissions that they need. Uh, if they're doing, if they're just coding your theme though, this is way overkill. They don't need all this. They just need the stencil CLI token. Okay. All right. So, you know, this can be confusing to, to a business owner, you know, which one to do, which permissions to do, whatnot. So let me show you the other way to go, which is if, you know, if you trust your developer, what you can do now with a new feature is you can go into account settings and users. And when you create their user or when you edit their existing user, you can now come in here and on top of being able to select the user role, which automatically applies permissions in these first three segments. Now you can also go down to where it says high risk permissions and you can actually give them the permission to create their own API key. 
as well as to see the existing API keys, as well as to delete API keys if they know that they're not needed anymore. Now, technically, if you know, for the purposes of this video, I'm showing you guys how to issue a key and you can do it where you issue it manually, how I showed you the first time, or you can just give them the ability to issue their own key. So it's up to you if you wanna give them this permission, those two permissions, or all three permissions. But this kind of lets you let them create their own API keys and just get out of the way if that's what you feel more comfortable with. So either way, there's two great ways now to create API keys. I hope, I hope this cleared it up for you guys a little bit. Again, my name's Cal. Uh, leave me a comment if this helped. Leave me a comment if you're confused or if you're stuck on something else I might help you with on another video. And if you're interested in our community, check us out at ecommerceamplifiers.com. And if you need, uh, if you're interested in hiring me or my team, check us out at epicdesignlabs.com. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.